This is the perfect way to kick off training camp. We've got the owner, president, and general manager who looks like he's ready for football right now. Got the fight sweatshirt on and everything, Let right? Let me tell you, it could have been 100 degrees out here right now, and it's not. <laughs> but I was going to put on this little sweatsuit outfit, no matter what the temperature was. I just like the feeling that it's cool out here, don't you? <laughs> yes, <laughs> it, it definitely is. is. It is cool. It's in the upper 60s out here. 29th training camp. Can you believe it's 29 years? Well, I can't. And uh, I have see many familiar faces from uh, uh, the first training camp that uh, uh, we were a part of when I bought the Cowboys. But uh, I would have never thought, you know, what we're doing tonight is really special to have the many stations that uh, do their entire sports programming out here. When I first saw this and walked out, and it looked like that uh, uh, some movie set with all of the stations doing this at the same time, and I just went, wow, I must be with the <laughs> Dallas Cowboys. And those are stations from all over uh, the state of Texas and beyond, actually. It is strange, though, that uh, for the first time in, what, 14 years, Tony Romo's not here at this training game. How strange is it that? It is, and uh, I would have never thought that I could be sitting here without having uh, all black and being in mourning mm -hmm. uh, if uh, Tony weren't here. Uh, I, I had such high expectation every year if we could keep him healthy. And uh, at, at one point, I didn't uh, think that was uh, as hard to do as it later turned out to be. But uh, he was a quarterback that as long as we had him on the field, we had a chance to win all of those games. And he says he is 99.9% .9 retired now. He's going to be at your uh, Hall of Fame induction, by the way. Yes, he is. Yeah. And uh, uh, I actually spent some time with him last night and some key people that uh, were with CBS. And uh, are they proud of him? He's proud to be involved. Jim Nance, uh, they were all there. And uh, it's an exciting time for Tony, as it should be. Uh, it really is an exciting time for us. All right, uh, and speaking of that, uh, what is it about Dak Prescott that gives you the confidence that he can avoid the sophomore jinx that people talk about? Well, I think his uh, qualities uh, are really so manifest in leadership. So Roger Staubach, when we were looking at getting the successor to Romo, uh, I ran into him two or three times during that two-year period of time. And I said, Roger, what do you think this day and time? Drop back? Move around, guy. What do you think? And he said, uh, Jerry, I don't, I don't know that that's the point. Get somebody that the players will follow. And when we brought Dak Prescott in last year for the draft, we had him in our 30 players to bring in. Uh, he was like the Pied Piper. Mm. Uh, not only the players, but the coaches were just impressed with his leadership. He has continued to show that with his work ethic, with his preparation, and he just takes that right to the practice field or right to the game. How would you characterize what's, uh, oh, I don't know if it's a media circus or well, however you would term it, that's going on with Zeke Elliott right now? With, of course, the in, in investigation apparently is going to wrap up uh, soon. You talked about it at the press conference today, the social media craze that's out yeah. there today. It's uh, so much different than it was 25 years ago. It certainly is, and uh, uh, Zeke uh, is challenged. Uh, by the fact that he has uh, the status wherever he goes. It's just like a rock star. Uh, and uh, uh, he uh, knows that he's gifted, he's blessed, uh, he's lucky. Uh, by the same token, all of that visibility uh, carries with it a lot of criticism. Um, maybe many of the things that we all see in our own mirror uh, but uh, if it's directed toward an individual, you get to see it. Now, where's all, where am I going with all this? Uh, he's right inside, uh, and he's uh, uh, very conscientious and very smart. And so that uh, those challenges, I believe, that he can address. We want to help him in any way that we can. Uh, he's in a, a platform. Uh, the NFL has got the toughest behavior standards of any sport on this planet. Uh, it's got the tougher standards as to substance, and I'm all for that, but uh, he's in a program that has that demand, and then it demands that you recognize perception. Uh, not necessarily just reality, but perception, because we want the NFL to be perceived uh, in the right kind of way. So all of those things I think he'll, he'll, he'll come to. And, and as you said today, you're privy to the investigation, and you're you feel good where Zeke is right now? I really do. Uh, 
uh, I'm very aware of everything. And uh, there is no uh, domestic violence issue here. This team, why will it be better this year? Well, first of all, uh, uh, repetition in football is uh, uh, really the, the most influential thing. And so that uh, just to have uh, Dak, Zeke, our uh, line, especially on the offensive side of the ball, uh, they're going to get to uh, have the experience of last year and, of course, the repetition of preparing for this year. Things have got to change now. Our, our, our opponents are, are not going to uh, let us get away with putting the same stuff to them as we did last year. But the repetition of working together should make us better. Uh, this is a young team, and so uh, you could look for improvement. And, um, uh, and that secondly, includes on the defensive side. Secondly, of the ball. I think that defense uh, uh, can improve. Uh, we've got an opportunity. We've really brought in some impressive talent. We brought in some real quickness. We brought in some speed. We brought in some size. Uh, I think we've got uh, great coaching. Uh, so I, I would look for us to be a, a, a better team overall. All right, you're 13 days away from going into the Hall of Fame. It's going to be such a special weekend for not only you, but the entire Jones family and the, and the organization. But there's one guy going back in your history, University of Arkansas. I wonder if he's going to be on your mind throughout that weekend, and that would be the great Frank Broyles. He's had some health issues here uh, lately. How much will Frank Broyles be on your mind? Well, he was such an influence to me. He's a very young man. Uh, when I was a freshman at the University of Arkansas. He's a tremendous uh, influence. Uh, uh, he taught us all about the fourth quarter. Well, later, his wife Barbara uh, suffered from Alzheimer's. He wrote a book on caregiving. He was the greatest example of caregiving uh, that I really am aware of. And I thought, Coach, you would make us hold up those fourth quarter fingers about the football game. Here you are still coaching us about the fourth quarter, but it's the fourth quarter of life. Mm. Uh, he's a special man, uh, really influenced me. Uh, it's no accident that uh, uh, two of his ex-players happen to be the first two coaches that I hired with the University of Arkansas, <laughs> Jimmy Johnson and Barry Switzer. Uh, I wish him so much. He's had a uh, profound influence, and uh, every chance that I get, uh, I reflect back on uh, his football philosophy. Uh, he actually was a management major, hmm. and everything was about math. You always put two of your guys on one of theirs, three of yours on two of theirs, four <laughs> years on, on that. He was a real innovator when it came to the financing of college programs, and he actually started the process of if you give a scholarship, you could have four of the best seats in the house. That really was a predecessor, a, 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 a basis of a lot of the things that we do right now in the NFL. And finally, you mentioned Jean, who's going to present you at, at the Hall of Fame. You mentioned her at the press conference. We're going to hear that uh, comment a little bit uh, later. My question to you as we wrap this up, does she get a say on the Ring of Honor? Because it sounds like she wants to put Jimmy Johnson in the Ring of Honor. <laughs> well, she's known <laughs> From that she's, story. Let me say this. She's known him a long time, <laughs> just as I have with that. And uh, uh, let me say, she has a lot of influence around here. Now, uh, after 54 years, I've learned how to say that very well. Gene has a lot of influence around here. <laughs> I understand. I understand. <laughs> All right, Jerry, we appreciate it. Good luck to you. Thank you, man. All right.